Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today on Tool Talk episode 4 we're going to go into my new ball peen hammer sent to me from Capri Tools and I want to quickly mention that it is a dead blow slash ball peen combination which really makes for a great hammer and I'm going to compare it to the two standard uh, ball peen hammers that I already have. Also I want to mention that the design of this I don't know if Trusty Cook was the original one, but is the big name out there that everybody really loves. It's a USA made uh, hammer company. Uh, they make a lot of USA hammers. Well, as you guys know, Snap-on uses Trusty Cook for their hammers. Uh, so I don't know if they're the original maker of this design or not, but basically after that, people really picked up on these hammers and realized how great they were and not a lot of companies made that design. But nowadays, that they've been around for quite a few years now, uh, a lot of other companies are making them. Like the Capri tools that I'm about to show you now. You guys might remember my screwdriver video and my wrench video that I made on Capri tools. Uh, but a lot of other companies are making them as well. Titan, Jegs, Summit, uh, Stanley. I mean, a lot of other companies are now making these. So. Granted, it would be nice to have a USA made one uh, and they're at a decent price. If you're not looking at spending all that much money, there are other companies as well. So just keep that in mind, but I'm gonna show you the differences now and I really hope you guys enjoy. All right, so here you're going to see in the middle and on the right, your standard ball peen hammer design. And as you can see, the heads are the same. They're both 16 ounce hammers and you have the ball peen section over here and your flat uh, hammer head over here. This is for more hitting a specific point and uh, even shaping metals and stuff like that. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with wood handles. This one is a fiberglass handle and there's nothing wrong with those. The wood handle has been around for many, many, many years and there's nothing wrong with it, but after a long day's work, you will feel it if you're not used to using it. So that's one downside. And the fiberglass is a little bit better. Uh, and this is actually a resin hardener that's holding it in on this fiberglass handle. But when you have handles like these, these do tend to bounce around on you after striking a certain point, and you do tend to feel the recoil in your arm or your hand or wrist throughout the day. Whereas the dead blow ball peen, this one being from Capri, part number Delta Bravo Hotel Bravo 36, a 36 ounce ball peen, but they've incorporated the dead blow portion into here, which is a steel shot inside of here and it has a metal rod all the way down through the handle and is welded up here at the top. So with this dead blow action, when you strike something, you don't feel the recoil like you would when using a wood handle or fiberglass handle like this. So the recoil is extremely reduced. It feels great in the hand. And besides the metal rod welded here with the dead blow, you have a nice polished steel ball peen and flat head up here. And then it's a poly mold uh, handle and at the head of the hammer, obviously. It's all one piece. And then you have these slots down here for a grip. Uh, I wish it was more grit style, whereas this is a smooth poly. So if they added grit, it would be even better, but the slots do help. You get a good grip on it and it does have the flared or beveled end so your hand doesn't come slipping off of the hammer so you get a good grip on it. So overall, a really nice hammer. Uh, great design. It's been around for a few years now so uh, it's become really popular. But once again, this is from Capri, the dead blow ball peen hammer compared to your standard ball peen hammer. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. If you've used uh, not just the Capri dead blow ball peen hammer, but any uh, ball peen hammer of this design and how you like it compared to your standard ball peen hammer. And if you guys haven't used them before, I really do suggest it. It's uh, especially if you're using it a lot, you'll, you'll be very thankful for it. So I really hope you guys enjoy uh, the prices and information will all be linked down in the description. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.